great episode for you today. There's a pneumatic system, which is air pressure. There's a pulley system. There's a water pump system and more. Wait till you see the final rough draft model at the end of the video. Stay tuned, let's see what it's all about. Interesting thing about the process, I didn't really know where to start and where I would end, but just to start building at what was in front of me, you can see the model evolving here until it reaches its final rough draft. So here is the rough draft model. Uh, this is the full model. And at first I thought there was gonna be more functionality to it, but then I realized it's so complicated. Uh, there's so many parts that I just wanted to be able to complete the whole thing and have every area represented so that I can study it and get it to function in the next model. <laughs> um, so there's a number of things that are working with this model. Here you have the syringe, the pneumatic uh, system area, and then you have the chair, which sits on this syringe, the pneumatic uh, pump, and then you have a stick that goes to the uh, water tank area, and the stick has a plug in it that's supposed to plug that area every time someone sits on the chair. So the person sits on the chair, um, the syringe goes down, the overhang goes up, the plug plugs, goes down and plugs, so that water comes up through this area, through the tube, blows off the overhang and back into the plug. They get up, that chair rises, the overhang lowers, the plug raises, allowing whatever water was poured into there to then go through the uh, water tube to the pneumatic area, fill up that area for when the next person comes, sits down, pushes down the syringe, which raises the overhang, which plugs the water. You might be wondering what the stick is here. If I was having issues with the counterweights, that's why you see all of these rocks on here. And I then learned ultimately that I want to put my weights back here because that's where the uh, most of the uh, force is, not here. I can get more leverage by putting weights back here. I will make this area, uh, this overhang longer so that um, hopefully in the next model it will just simply drip. Well, let's see if, how far the water will actually flow. 
into the tube and how far it will actually go. Um, I'm going to turn on a light here on my phone and I'm going to carefully slide that in here. I think hopefully that will show the, uh, the water better. And let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, it went through there. It went all the way, it went all the way through the tube and into the, uh, it didn't go into the pneumatic area, but it flowed right through there. I don't know if you saw that. If you look right here, you'll see water dripping out of this as I pour uh, the water into the fuel uh, water pump. Yeah, well that's successful. I'm excited about that because that means that as soon as I'm able to get a better uh, connection to this area, the water will go into that, fill that up, and then the pneumatic syringe pump will push the water up the tube and out and start the cycle. It's awesome. I think there's a lot of progress to uh, what we made and uh, it's now uh, for this next week to take what I've created, um, refine it, stay it a little bit more, uh, perfect the uh, water pump to the pneumatic system, a water flow design and get that all the way up the tube and then you no know, really it means a lot to me to get your feedback your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. Uh, this is the Young Channel, but I'm excited about its future. I'm excited how I'm learning and mastering concepts, and you get to take that journey with me as I go from one project through a three-part series, and I never know where I'm gonna end. So anyways, have a great week, and I'll see you soon.